Worshipping with integrity means that we come as we are, with all that we are. We are thinking beings, but we're also feeling beings. We're spiritual, but we're also physical. And so often we relegate our faith life to the realm of spirit and intellect, but we neglect the realm of body and emotion. But to worship with integrity means to be complete and authentic before God. We're to bring our real selves and our whole selves into the presence of God as we worship. And when we do that, we can expect to see transformation. We come as we are, but we don't stay as we are. Now God loves us completely already, but he also loves us too much to leave us unchanged. Integrity therefore encompasses both the gritty reality of who we are right now and the glorious reality into which we are being formed. In the Old Testament, we see Moses coming out of God's presence with a veil over his face because even the afterglow of God's glory was too much for the people to behold. But Paul tells us that now, in Jesus, we can all behold God's glory with unveiled faces. And as we do, we ourselves are transformed bit by bit into the image of God. Isaiah tells us that in the time of God's favour, which Jesus announced as having come, God gives us a crown in place of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, a garment of praise instead of our spirit of despair. Ruins will be repaired and we're to be called priests and ministers of our God, oaks of righteousness who display the splendour of our Lord. It is a beautiful transformation that we're invited to undergo. But it starts with us approaching God with unveiled faces. That means we come as we are, with all of our brokenness. We come with our broken minds, our frail bodies, our chaotic emotions, and our weakened spirits. And we trade them for what God has for us instead. Now, there's another crucial aspect of integrity that I've not yet mentioned and that's our relationships with one another. As individuals, we're members of a body, and it's only as a body with Christ at our head that we can know true wholeness. And as we bring our individual selves to God in worship, we also submit our communal self, that is, we submit as one body. God takes our individual brokenness, and he transforms it. And at the same time, he takes our dysfunctional relationships with one another and he heals them so that as a body, we can give glory to God through the true worship that is enacting justice and mercy to each other and the world around us. So as we worship, let's come to him as we are, complete as minds, bodies, spirits, emotions, and our relationships, so that we may leave with a greater vision of how much more we're being made to be for the glory of God.